Hey, what's going on there? Leo here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the notes that I took from uh, the five key takeaways that I, that I took from this workshop that I attended, a checklist to opening a restaurant. So if you think of opening a restaurant, uh, stay tuned because this information, it was great. It was awesome. I got this information from Solano SBDC. It's a workshop that uh, cost nothing, right? It, Solano SBDC is, a, is an organization, nonprofit. It's government funded that provides a lot of workshops oriented to small business owners uh, that are free. And also they give you one-on-one -on -one consultation for free. Uh, about me, before we get started, uh, my name is Leo. I have a digital marketing agency here in Solano County. And I work with small businesses that, uh, or we help small businesses that are looking to uh, attract more local customers, grow that, uh, that number, but also keep them coming back, right? It's important for uh, businesses that I work with, not just attract them, but also keep them coming back. Uh, by the way, I have a workshop coming up that I'm going to be teaching step-by-step -step the process that I use with the businesses that I work to put those systems in place, right? To uh, help them continue to attract more local customers every month, but also keep them coming back. So if you're interested about that workshop, I don't have a page yet where to register. Just simply send me a text, right? Go to my website, digitaltrack.co. You're going to see my number there. Uh, you can scroll down to the bottom, see my email, or you can connect with me via social media. And let me know, hey, Leo, I like, I'm like. i interested to uh, learn where you have that workshop coming up about the, uh, the process you use for your clients to attract more local customers. And I will go ahead and keep you notified when that workshop comes out. All right, so let's get started. So in reference to the person that was uh, providing the workshop, her name is Louise Dawson, a 35 years plus veteran in the restaurant industry and also second gener generation of owning a restaurant, meaning she got to learn from her parents, the mistake of her parents, and also she got to learn from her own mistakes. So that's a lot of years of experience. If you want to work with her as an advisor, make sure when you apply, uh, when you go to Solano SBDC, apply, you may, want, you may want to mention that you want to work with her, especially if you are opening a restaurant. All right. Uh, one thing that she uh, pondered a lot on, a lot on was on a business plan. You got to get your business plan, especially when you are going to be setting up a physical location. You're going to have commercial equipment. That's a big investment, right? So uh, a business plan is sort of a roadmap uh to success, especially when you work with advisors that have been there. Uh, one thing she mentioned is the executive summary. You're going to leave that last. Maybe you want to start with the, with the business overview. And the reason why you want to leave the executive summary last is because it's an overview of everything you're going to do here. So how are you going to know what this summary is going to be if you haven't done, gone through this? So go through this first, there's other sections in the executive summary. But again, I recommend you not to do it alone. Do it with uh, apply to uh, receive consultation from uh, Solano SBDC and not cost to you. I'm not affiliated to them, so I'm not gonna get any money. But I recognize the value of this organization. Uh, finding a location, it was it was very important to the way. She presented two models, right? She presented a model. If you're gonna be finding a location. A model that it, it has everything in there already, right? It's like a turnkey sort of ratio, like basically buying a business already with most of the equipment you're going to need. Or you're going to be building everything out, meaning you're going to be renting a, or leasing a space that has nothing of the equipment you need. So you're going to have to get all the equipment, the signage, etc. Uh, the kitchen and all that. This option, obviously, is it's expensive because you got to get all the equipment. This option is cheaper. And uh, uh, a lot less headaches. Uh, what they should mention as well is that try to do a long lease. If it's possible, try to do a five-year lease with the five-year option to extend that lease. Uh, don't try to go with two years testing to see if it's going to work. And the reason she mentioned that is because uh, if you do a long term lease and you succeed, you have more control. If you have a short term lease and you succeed, you're going to be in the mercy of the landlord and you can lose your business. I read this story, uh, this the, the book from uh, the gentleman that 
funded Walmart, right? Sam Walton. And he basically lost his first uh, retail store business, a successful retail store business, simply because he didn't uh, sign a long-term lease. And the store already had success. But what happened is the landlord basically saw that model. He liked the model and took it over for himself. So he basically had to had to sell the business over to the landlord because the negotiations were not making sense to Sam Walton to continue to pay that. So he rather to sell the business to the landlord and basically start all over. Permitting licenses, very important. A good uh, resource for you would be to visit calgold.ca, that's G-O-V, which is a government uh, state uh, attained website. Uh, here you can find information about the different licenses and permits that are required in your city, state, or city, county. Uh, establish your entity. Very important to talk to your business lawyer or in your accountant to see what makes the most sense. She recommended LLC simply because it provides uh, liability protection, meaning uh, they, if something happens, you get sued, they will go after the business. And while your personal assets have some uh, has protection, it doesn't mean they cannot go after you, but it has some protection, right? And I, again, I'm not a lawyer, so that's why that's a disclaimer there. You should talk to your business lawyer and your accountant. Uh, more permits, permit. Uh, here's a good one. So the alcohol licenses, uh, ABC, ABC is their uh, organization or however you want to call it that controls that uh, I didn't know that new licenses are hard to get I find out that one of the reasons is because they are controlled by the number the, the, the population in a specific area so obviously they don't give out anymore if a population has plenty of alcohol licenses if the population grows uh, you can put your business into a lottery that if your business they get picked then obviously you get locked in again on your license uh, but uh, you should talk to them because they have a way to help you with this more than likely they what they do is you buy businesses when you lease a business you get a license from that other business uh, permits and licenses permits and licenses permits and licenses more uh, business license and fictitious business name that's very important to do. Keys to success. One thing she mentioned over here is that if you're going to be building out uh, your restaurant, make sure you work with a CASP, CASP certified uh, architect that is knowledgeable on ADA compliance, meaning they are going to help you design your location uh, that is compliance to be able to accommodate to say, uh, people with disability. All right, so that's all today. Again, if you are interested in attending that workshop that I'm going to ha be having uh, to show you the same process I use for the business owners that I work with uh, to help them attract more local customers, but not just help them attract but uh, the local customers, but also help them keep them, keep them coming back. Uh, just visit my website, digitalattract.co, send me a text, or send me an email, let me know that you're interested, and I'll uh, inform you when that, uh, when, when, when it's going to be in the registration is open. All right, so have a great one. Bye.